Good morning. <laughs> I look an absolute hot mess because I totally didn't wash off my um, makeup last night before I went to bed. And I, it is now 5.37. And I've been up since 3, trying to get back to sleep. I finally gave up sleeping in the bed because I was afraid I was keeping Jeremy up with all my tossing and turning. And so I came upstairs, laying on the couch, and at some point I ate a bowl of cereal, which now I feel gross. Of course, I shouldn't eat the stupid thing, but I was hungry. <laughs> and I can't exactly cook at 4 o'clock in the morning, so... A bowl of nasty sugary cereal it was I'll probably regret that oh well but seeing as how it is 530 I figured I might as well just get up do my miracle morning routine and pray I can get a nap today we'll see how that goes so it is now 652 and wow, my face looks really puffy this morning. I can tell that I didn't sleep last night. But I was finishing up my Miracle Morning routine. And the last step in the Lifesavers acronym. I have a whole video on Miracle Morning. Actually, I have two. So you have to look back and check those out um, for more info. But the last two steps are reading and scribing. Um, or journaling and so I usually end up with um, I'll read from a few different things a devotional um, self-help book um, the Bible I'll just read from a few things and um, I've been trying to do more reading of like the minor prophets in the Old Testament I tend to always skip over those whenever I'm choosing something to read so today I had I had started out with Haggai and there's just two chapters in Haggai so um I thought well I'll just break it down into a few verses and just do like a few verses at a time so it was funny this morning I was um starting out there in Haggai 1 and God's talking to the prophet and um he's like why is it people are not concerned about rebuilding my temple and all they're focusing on is filling their own homes full of expensive, nice things. But they're not worried about rebuilding my temple. So, um, it was just an interesting little, I thought it, it was um, not coincidental, but you know what I mean, that I read that this morning while I'm, you know, working on reviewing 2017 and thinking about things I want to do different in 2018. Um, because, you know, now God doesn't need a physical temple. You know, he, he even says that our bodies are his temple. You know, he reigns in our hearts now. So, uh, so I was thinking about that. It, you know, if I'm putting my purposes ahead of his and um, using my heart and my body for my own purposes and things that make me comfortable instead of making sure it's a fit place for the Lord to inhabit. <laughs> and so that was verses one through four. And then I hit verse five. And um, after I had written down those little thoughts, and it says, consider your ways and thoughtfully reflect on your conduct. You have planted much, but you have harvested little. You eat, but you don't have enough. You drink, but you don't have enough. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm enough. And he who earns wages earns them just to put them in a bag with holes in it. So even way back then when rebuilding a physical temple building was an important thing, even then God is bringing it back to a heart issue. And I thought that was, that was cool. He's, he's bringing it all back. Like it's not really about the building. It's about you and your heart and your attitude. So that was cool. A good reminder for today. Now I'm going to go get a shower and hopefully it wakes me up. I'm so tired. And there's a lot to do today as usual. Well, friends, 
Wow. So, I, I know I said that I was going to regret eating that sugary bowl of cereal, but I had no idea how much. <laughs> I got out of the shower and I um, went and laid down beside Jeremy on the bed. His alarm had already gone off and he was waking up. And we were just talking and he got up and took a shower. And while he was in the shower, I grabbed a book from beside my bed to read a little bit. And all of a sudden, I felt like this rush of warmth all over my body, just like whoosh. It kind of, kind of the same warmth that you get, um, like when you have some sort of numbing agent, like when something is numb or you know your legs asleep or something. It has that warm feel to it. That's what it felt like. And I was like, huh, that's odd. And then just a few seconds later, I had to drop my little bitty paperback book because it got too heavy. Like I just. It was like somebody just had unplugged me and that warmth was all the energy just rushing out of my body. It was insane. I could not sit up. I could not pick my head up. I couldn't call out for Jeremy. Of course, he was in the shower still running. And finally, when I heard the shower cut off, I I was just like, I need you. So he comes out and was like, uh, I think my blood sugar just dropped really bad. I need food right now. Like my voice was all shaky. He's like, okay. <laughs> so he warmed me up some fried potatoes that were left over in the fridge and put ketchup on them because he knows that I like that <laughs> and brought it to me. Whew, I'm still like holding up the phone right now. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. And I could barely get the fork to my mouth. I was shaking so bad. Craziness. So I ate those. I drank a bunch of water. And I was feeling a little bit better. But crazy tired. Of course, I didn't sleep last night. So that nap that I was wanting to get, I totally already had that. I had to have Isaac um, and Noah fix the kids' cereal bowls this morning and pour their milk and bless their hearts they changed the baby's pull-ups and uh, I don't know what I'd do without them I had to keep Adrian with me in bed though because I knew that I would not be I can't trust him further than I can see him <laughs> so it's like you just hang out in bed with mama this morning <laughs> and I ended up it's it's almost 10 o'clock now I ended up laying there from let's see Jeremy got up at seven fifteen. so yeah and I'm still just, like, exhausted. And I need to blow dry my hair because that looks like a <laughs> disaster. Wow, what a morning already. Babies are fine. We're checking the baby's okay. heartbeat. Yeah. I'm going to check the baby's heartbeat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How First, gonna we're going to check your heartbeat. Okay. So, it's pretty good. Stick that up your nose. Okay, <laughs> that's perfect. It was now we just need to uh, 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 uh. Next, we're going to do is check on it. Okay. Hello. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> There's only one way to <clears throat> I look rough. I look pale and yucky. You look cute. <laughs> Look at that hair. Sticking up everywhere. Yeah. Tiger. Tiger. Yeah, okay. it's a tiger. Uh, and the go, baby is fine. You guys taking it's care of okay. mama? Uh, here. You're not. The big kids Mom. are taking care of mama. Yes. Can you put up my hair? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I am feeling better. Thank goodness. But um, I got some work done this afternoon. I did take a nap for like an hour and a half. And then got some January work done. But my house, you guys, is a disaster. <laughs> it's a disaster. I have not done anything. Look at this. My table. It's a mess. So Jeremy's going to be home in probably about 25, 30 minutes. And I've got to get this house cleaned up before he gets home. I had told him that it was very possible that I would not be able to clean the kitchen today. And so, I just wanted to pick up dinner at Gondolier Italian Restaurant. Um, 
But now that I'm feeling better, and ho hopefully I can surprise him with an actual clean kitchen. So I'm going to work on that. Hey, what you doing? What? You need a you need a clean pull up. Yes, you do. That one's sagging. Now can we turn back on the TV? Not yet. Cause they're dancing. Are you marching? Uh-oh, Elizabeth, you ran into him. Pay attention. <laughs> Elizabeth, that's too hard, dear. Uh-oh, James. Fall down, go boom. Mom, <coughs> cover your cough. Cover your cough. Um, I just saw Alexa. She, she, she's a good girl. <laughs> you did. Why? Because she listens good. Yeah.